Alright, so I just saw the Mulan remake on Disney Plus, and I actually really enjoyed it. I don't get what all the hate for this movie was about. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, some criticisms I've seen people give are that she doesn't go on this character journey, and I disagree with that. She actually, I thought, went through about the same character journey as she did in the first movie. I've also seen people complain that she was overpowered, and I don't really see that. I don't really see people making these arguments about Yoda. <sighs> oh, well, you know, two-foot Jedi can lift an X-Wing out of a swamp. He's so OP. But I mean, they explain that she can do what she does through Chi, which, word for word, in the film, is a mystic energy that flows through all living things. It's the Force. Like, it... it that's like complaining that a certain Jedi is too overpowered because they have more midichlorians. Like, she just has more chi. It is a little bit like midichlorians, which I get that might tick some people off, but that, that was fine with it. However, I do still have a couple problems with the movie. The actress they chose to play Mulan was a little wooden. I don't think she changes facial expressions once during the whole movie. And her line delivery is super robotic. Like, I mean, this isn't really spoilers, because if you've seen the original, you know this happens. Like, she gets caught at camp, and they're like, oh, we're, you, you are banished. You brought shame to your family. She goes, I would rather be executed. And it's, like, so wooden and so stoic and so robotic. I would rather be executed. Like, uh, okay, yeah. they needed a stronger actress, honestly. Another big issue was a plot hole regarding the villains. The two villains in this movie are an evil witch and the leader of the Bad Army. And it's not the Huns, but I forget what they're called in this movie. But the witch is in servitude to the leader of this army, and she hates being this guy's slave, basically. But, like, you are a witch. Like, you are the super powerful witch. Why are you taking crap from this guy? Just kill him, right? And they don't explain this. There isn't anything like, oh, well, I lost my powers, or you know, something like that. Some explanation. Even if it was a stupid explanation, it's better than no explanation. And they didn't give us an explanation for why... She doesn't just kill him, but why she's in servitude to this guy. So that, that was weird to me. The movie's strong point, though, is the battle scenes. This is honestly some of the best action I've seen in some of these live-action remakes. It plays very much like a Chinese war movie, and everything from the battle to the martial arts was fast-paced, and it was exciting to watch. And this wasn't like The Lion King, where it's frame for frame, the original, and has no reason to exist. This was a new... I liked this new take on the story. It justified the reason for this movie being made. I thought it was very done, done very well. This movie has definitely brought honor to the live-action remakes. So I'd give this movie a solid 9 out of 10 and a 4 out of 5.